So are you wondering why you should put baking soda on your feet? Sounds weird, but stay until the end, and I think you will be amazed. After all, everyone would like to do their best to look after their health. So in this video, we will talk about one of the ways to do just that. How about treating your overworked feet to something special, to add an indulgent touch to a regular day? Now here's your answer. If you are struggling with all your feet-related health conditions, just soaking them in baking soda is the right remedy. Now, we will dive deeper into the world of baking soda and feet. The benefits of soaking your feet in baking soda. Let me break it down for you in simple terms why soaking your feet in baking soda is a fantastic idea. Bye-bye foot odor. Can you remember when there is a really powerful smell that emanates from them? Ugh, there's feet odor and it is, how can I put this delicately, not pleasant at all. But guess what? Baking soda is here to solve all your problems. Sodium bicarbonate is wonderful as it can capture odors in a manner that sweetens bad odors in the refrigerator at times especially after you have stored fish or meat. As you put your feet in the baking soda bath, this beautiful mix creates a magic that drives away all those foul scents, leaving your feet clean with a deodorizing effect. Recall those days when you would cling to your breath every time you would think of taking off your shoes. Soothes irritated skin. Have you ever experienced pain and soreness between your toes? Or does the entire foot get red and itchy? It might be caused by other things, such as a sock fungus, just under the skin inflammation. However, just be reminded that baking soda is your partner in crime once more. It has these awesome anti-inflammatory properties which when applied, reduce and soothe irritation. An itch-soothing baking soda soak is a perfect cure that breaks the redness on your skin and, of course, leaves it silky soft. Spending a few minutes at home daily to relax your feet while exfoliating them is similar to receiving a quick and relaxing pampering session. Smooths rough patches. Have you ever put your feet in sandpaper or felt your skin literally burned? If so, your feet must feel rough with callus and feel like rough sandpaper. Yeah, people can't really say that it's super enjoyable. However, baking soda comes to the rescue again. It acts like an energizing scrub for your feet, which takes away the chunks and useless patches, leaving your feet feeling soft and silky. Thus, do it right now, such as putting your feet into a baking soda bath and see your skin shining. Eases foot pain. Tomorrow, if you spend most of the day standing or walking, your feet can be screaming for tenderness from adversity and resilience. Baking soda can also come to the rescue in this situation. It has magic powers like decreasing the inflammation in your foot. Warm water with baking soda will then nourish your feet as it soothes the aches and pains leaving you to feel relaxed and fresh. It's so comfortable like enveloping the sole of my foot in the soft, enchanting embrace. Improves blood circulation. Interestingly enough, Soaking in your feet is a perfect remedy for tackling blood flow-related issues. It's true. Furthermore, you have to remember not to raise the heat level of the water when stirring in the fresh soda, else you will end up burning the ingredients. Dilating the blood vessels enable your blood to reach the ends of your legs and feed them with adequate oxygen. This increased blood flow not only improves the healing, but also makes your fools energetic and refreshed. Extreme stress, anxiety, and depression that work on this organ weaken the immune response and make us more prone to illness. Hence, go for a circulation boost and choose the baking soda foot regimen. Overall foot health. Now all that you get is the sum of all these benefits. That in total, especially your foot health, that's what. While soaking your feet in baking soda is not initially meant to be a treatment for a particular problem, it really is all about giving your feet the best possible care. You are certainly treating the sore feet, but you are also helping to stop any new issues by regularly incorporating baking soda foot soaks into your routine. A moment of self-indulgence? The little massage your feet get is what they deserve. Has this video been helpful and informative so far? If so, go ahead and share it with your friends, family, and loved ones. Let them also enjoy the rare benefits of baking soda. You can also like this video, so show me your support. And do not worry, there is more to come. I will help you with the preparation for this amazing idea too, and give you a bit of advice. So stick around till the end of the video. How to prepare the foot soak. Ready to pamper your feet with a relaxing foot soak in baking soda? Let me walk you through the simple steps to prepare your own foot spa right at home. Step one, gather your supplies. Well, you start with gathering all the materials that you'll need for your toe soak session. Don't get scared. All the ingredients are most likely to be in your cupboard. This tells you what is required for the activity. A tub or a basin sized large enough to place your feet easily. Warm water. It should neither be too hot nor too cold, but just the right temperature. 
baking soda and with optional essential oils that have a nice scent. Got everything? Great, let us move on to the next step. Step two, fill it up. Now it's time for you to put the warm water in your bowl or basin. It should be deep enough to cause your feet to dip in until your ankles are submerged even as you don't want it to spill everywhere you put your foot on. It is really up to you, but try to be sensible. Step three, add the main ingredient. Here enters the baking soda, which is known as a great catalyst. Leach out around half a cup of baking soda and either sprinkle it or directly add it to the warm water that is about to be used for bathing or showering. Add a bit of water to ensure that it is all mixed correctly. And now a word from us. Why, that's the secret sauce you need for nicer looking feet. Step four, add some aromatherapy. Feeling fancy? And by adding a few drops of your favorite essential oil, you can come up with a marvelous combination. It is believed that lavender soothes and quietens while peppermint oil adds a certain tingle to tired feet. It's just a couple of drops that are required. No need to add more than necessary. Step five, time to soak. And here is the best part, giving your feet a good soaking. Be cautious as you step in with your toes into that hot, bubbly bath, then lie down and relax. Arrived as durable, should not it be? Try to relax and soak your feet in the mixture for about 15 to 20 minutes so that the soda can work and your body gets a chance of all the action. Step six, rinse and dry. And if your foot got soaked enough, it's time now to wave goodbye to your baking soda foot bath. Be mindful of where your feet land and perhaps do a little rinse under the tap to remove the baking soda leftovers. After that, pat your feet gently with a soft towel just to dry them. You need not rub them instead, just soft patting will do the magic. Step seven, moisturize. And last but not least, moisturize your fresh skin and happiness after all that hard work. Put the foot cream that suits your taste then apply it as much as you need to cover your feet everywhere. Spread a thin layer from top to bottom and lightly circularly massage your skin to be more moisturized and smoother. And there you have it. Simple and easy, isn't it? Precaution and side effects. While baking soda foot soaks are rather safe, it is still important to have a strong awareness of the precautions that could protect against any risks and side effects that may be involved. Here are a few things to keep in mind. Test for sensitivity. It's advisable to do the skin confirmation testing on a patch basis if you are allergic or sensitive to applying the baking soda feet soak. Try the product by applying a small amount of the solution on a small skin area, waiting for a few minutes and observing for irritation. Don't overdo it. The regular foot may possess great benefits, but avoid and beware of overdoing it because it might result in negative effects. However, using baking too much could provoke dryness or itching. Therefore, use it with caution. Consult a professional. It is recommended that you immediately stop using these sandals if you encounter any adverse reactions or chronic foot problems and contact a health facility for medical advice and appropriate treatment. Finally, baking soda is an easy and cheap remedy for taking care of your feet. Whatever you're facing with foot odor or dry or rough skin, you can depend on baking soda foot Foot soak to work done perfectly. So why wait? Indulge your feet in the luxury they deserve today. If this video has helped you understand the importance of a good foot soaking in baking soda, you can like and share it with your friends, family, and loved ones. You can also subscribe because there is more than just one way to help your health. Until next time, folks.